Hey guys, Technivorous here. Today we are printing another Ender 3 Pro mod. What we are going to have is a cover for the end stop that is attached to the X axis. There's a big sticker that's a Facebook QR code there, and I'm sick of looking at it. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that right now. So this is model number 2924288 on Thingiverse. I will put the link in the description down below. It is by Dr. Street. Uh, it's put up May 22nd, 2018. It, when you go to the page, make sure you check the bottom here. Um, there is a license. It is Creative Commons Attribution. So I made sure that give him a shout out so everybody knows that this is his original design. I am going to be modifying it slightly, and I'll show you how, uh, and we'll do that right now. All right, so what I've done is I've taken the model that I wanted to cover my, it's actually the end stop, not the motor, on this side of the Ender 3 Pro. So this is the mod I'm going to be using. I have also modified it a little bit. What I did was I took a work plane, I dragged it onto the part of the motor I wanted to put my logo on, and then I imported my logo. Uh, turned it into a hole and kind of just punched it through there. Now, there's some different angles in here, and I'm not quite sure how it's going to print uh, standing vertically like this, which is the orientation the artist left it in, which is generally the best orientation for printing because odds are they've printed it a couple different ways. Uh, but I did turn it on its side because I felt like I would get a better picture out of it if I laid it flat. So we're going to find out how that turns out. I'll show you a video of the uh, printer running right now. The logo is looking pretty sweet so far, and it's basically just waiting to build up these round walls around it. There is a slot right here. You'll see that is for your stop, your cable to go through, and then it completely blocks that side. There is a complete opening on this side, not, so you're not preventing the uh, Y carriage, or excuse me, the X carriage from coming into contact with that end stop, so that's nice. And as you can sort of see here, the logo is legible. It's looking pretty sweet. Uh, you don't need to tell me that it's upside down. The part is actually upside down, not the logo. So don't worry about it looking backwards. You're looking at the back of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let this finish printing. And then we'll show you how to put it on, including popping off that end stop cable and wiring it through the hole. So stay tuned. Something to consider while we were printing. Uh, I did notice earlier when I was going through and deciding which model I was going to print, and I did pick the plain one because I wanted to add my logo to it, that there were several variations in here. And this one is by far one of the coolest. If you need an SD card holder or somewhere to put your extra SD cards, this is awesome. Basically what this is is a little rack that's mounted on the front of the piece that I'm printing. Instead of putting a logo there, and it has these three slots that fit full-size SD cards. They also, I believe, have one for micro SDs. Um, I thought I saw one in there. I could be mistaken. But that is a very cool little addition for keeping your stuff organized and beautifying the printer a little bit. All right, so we're going to be finishing up any minute here. And when we do, we'll turn the camera around, turn it back on, and I'll show you how to install this puppy. All right, so this is the thing I'm still looking at. There is, as a side note, a hole in this cover. Um, the guy who built it put there, I assume, for the end stop cable. But when I removed the end stop cable and tried to thread it through there, it actually didn't fit through to connect. It fit through the hole, but there was blockage on the actual machine. So I don't know if they've changed the design of this since then or what. But if you want to remove the cable, you just yank it out. Uh, then your best bet is probably to thread it through, plug it in, and then place the cover on which just goes on like that. And you can put it on over the cable, just make sure that you don't smash the cable and break the cable, and it's pretty solid on there. The, uh, the logo came out pretty good. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but that's my camera quality that's not your eyes. So in the next video, we're going to be printing a fan duct for the actual hot end here. And then the video after that, I believe the mod is going to be the uh, filament guide for the extruder because I'm having some grinding issues with the one that's there now 
and it's starting to rub away. But I'll show you that in another video. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for future videos, guys. Hit the uh, notification bell, and we'll get you a notification when we put those videos up. And stay tuned for more Ender 3 Pro Mods, because we got more coming soon.